Carl here. Let's go ahead and create maps in Power BI. First thing we need to do is we need to go over here to our visualization. We'll shrink this filters pane down and we're going to select map. If you hover over it, you'll see that this is map. Before we go ahead and select map, let's just go to the different, the other map. So the other one we have is field map. All right. So this is how you create a map. So we're going to go ahead and click on map and we're going to expand this across across our report view. Once we have this expanded across our report view, the first thing I want to pull in is state. So I have state and you have to make sure you have state in your visual, either state or latitude and longitude. And I'm just going to pull in state into location. And now that I've pulled in state into the location, you can see that there are bubbles created on this map to represent each state where we have cells. So just keep in mind that if you're pulling in states and you're pulling in cells and you haven't sold to certain states, then there's a chance that those states won't have any bubbles in it. But that doesn't mean your map is not working. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull in some of the cells and I'm going to pull in the cells into bubble size. So I'll pull that into bubble size and you can see that now in each state, there is a different bubble size. Now the bubble sizes that are larger represents the states that had more cells and the bubble sizes that are smaller represents the states that had a minimum amount of cells. Now the next thing I want to pull in is the region. So I'll go ahead and pull the region into legend. And now that I pull the region into the legend, you can see that the Midwest, Northeast, South and West regions are all color coded. So for the West region, we have the purple for the South region. We have this orange. And then for the Northeast region, we have the blue. And then for the Midwest region, we have the powdered blue. So now you can kind of see what those indications look like. And now you should be able to create a map in Power BI.